Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Ultima 8. And when last we left the Avatar, we're currently learning spells from long dead necromancers. We have, for instance, learned the spell Mask Death, which will conceal the fact that we're alive from the enemies we encounter. We also learned the spell Rock Flesh, which we're going to have to use right now. This spell makes us invulnerable. We don't know that we're invulnerable, apart from the fact that we're able to survive these lightning bolts without any damage. There is no indicator at all that the spell has worked. No uh, sound cue, no um, sparkly magical effect, nothing. There is, however, one ghoul here that was hoping to take out people that somehow managed to survive running past all of those lightning bolts. Too bad for you, ghoul! I didn't suffer any damage, and I won't suffer any damage now that I have this uh, potion that would partially heal me. We'll take this reagent as well. Anything over here? No? And what about over here? Any more reagents for us? A curse be upon your soul. I'll just go this way then. We don't want any curses. What is over here? The answer is, is this where a necromancer is? No, there's a ghost there. We'll just leave you be, goodbye. We don't want to fight any ghosts if we can avoid it. Anything over here? No. Anything over here? No. I bet there's only one way that we can leave, and that is most likely this way. There are lots of remains here, and there's nothing on any of these remains, it would seem. So we're just going to uh, move on and head this way. Over here we go! And that is... Ooh, that was very close indeed. Let's be careful and go this way. Enjoying your stay on Pagan, Avatar? Not so much here right now, because we're in a little bit of a dire, difficult position of uh, being beneath a catacomb and there being lots of... That was a very strange sound indeed. That almost sounded like some sort of lightning-based spell. Who knows what that signals? Probably our imminent doom. Anything over here? There's a kith over here. I don't want to fight you. I am going to have to fight you, but I'm going to save before I do so, because there's a good chance that you will absolutely obliterate us, even if we equip the uh, sword. You should hear the pleas for help, Avatar. You keep saying this, you know, and I keep saying that you're not giving me any ability to hear them. Just saying, oh, they're terrible and loud and constant. Well, why don't you do some sort of magic so that I can hear this? And so I'm like, oh no, Britannia is in trouble, instead of just going, oh, it's really terrible. It's really bad. I don't think any of my attacks are hitting you at all. Would you like to come this way? I think you can't come this way. Can we actually hit you from here? Maybe we can. I think you can hit us from here too. So I'm just going to uh, very quickly run away. We don't want to die here. Running away involves going down there, Avatar. There we go. If we move far enough away, we will be able to rest and uh, recuperate. There we go, one period of time. And then we will be at full health, and then we will take you on. The positioning with the kith is very particular. Sometimes you can easily defeat them, other times you can't. And sometimes they just decide that they're not going to fight you anymore, and disappear. This is something that does happen. If you move far enough away from an enemy, but not too far away from an enemy, and then you rest, and you come back, they're gone. Never to be seen again. It happened with the ghost that was guarding the way to the uh, catacombs, and it happened with that kith. Let's keep going, shall we? We're unlikely to find any more enemy. Ooh! We will, however, find that that rose up from the earth. Is there anything significant about it? No, nothing at all. I think the Mountain King is observing our progress and uh, seeing if we can do this. I hope we can. And anything here? That fell. Not that close to us. And there is an explodey thing over here. Let's just leave the explodey thing, shall we? We have, however, found another necromancer, and it seems like we found the end of this cavern. Hopefully we can uh, open up a way that will let us progress. We do need to have another spell prepared, though. We need another death speak. You know what? We might as well actually get another one ready. There is uh, one blood and two blood, and we need one thing of bone. 
where are our reagents? There are our reagents. We just need one of these. We'll just uh, get one. Put that... Uh, is this the pile of one? Yes, it is. We'll just put that there. And then we will use this and make multiple charms. There we are. We have two. One death speak and a second one. And we're about to use one of them right here on this necromancer. Hello. How are you? Hopefully you're going to teach us a very important spell. Well, well. You are progressing well, student. Please forgive those who attacked you. Your test must be a difficult one. Already, you have learned Mask of Death and Rock Flesh from the necromancers who wrote them. Are you now ready to learn my spell? Yes, necromancer. Very well. Always remember that no matter how mighty you may feel, everyone eventually needs help in battle. Take blood, bone, and wood. Speak the words Cal Corp Zen. Focus this power, and help will arrive. What kind of help will this bring, Necromancer? This spell will summon your deceased brethren to your aid. It may also help you find that which you seek. Deceased brethren? Yes, student. Once you have joined the Necromantic Order, you will never again be alone. You shall always have company of the dead to comfort you. But enough talk. You must continue on your journey. Farewell. And suddenly we are teleported away to over here. There's lots of water around us. Let's just uh, have a very careful look around. Here are some uh, reagents. We can always do with more of them. What about over here? The answer is more reagents. It's like the game when, hey, did you not pick up that massive barrel load of reagents? Here are even more of them, just in case you need them. Here are some uh, bone shards. We could do with them. Nothing there. If you did need a shield, the game has given you an opportunity to grab one. It's given us multiple opportunities to grab a helmet. Here is a uh, dead man's elbow. Just one. There was one in front of the uh, necromancer, though. And what about... Ooh, lots of things here. We'll grab all of them. Excellent. And there is a selection of uh, traps here. We just... Ooh, we got hit by that one. We were a little bit too close. Let's just uh, walk through. That may look like... Um, something that we can just uh, walk down and then climb up. I do not trust that. I think, in fact, that that is going to uh, kill us if we try and just uh, walk over. So we're going to save, and we're going to try jumping over. Jumping should be absolutely fine, though. And all of the uh, enemies have conveniently uh, stepped away. Let's go! Excellent, we made it. And all those ghouls... Ah, there's one ghoul there. You remembered that you were meant to face me and try to stop me. Bad news for you, I wasn't even hitting the right area and I still managed to defeat you. And here come the other ghouls. There's also a skeleton here. The skeleton I'm not so happy to see. Let's just actually uh, move away from all of you. And this is the wrong way to do that. Let's be uh, very quick about running away. There we go. I Much really do appreciate you a car. Well, I don't. It's really inconvenient for me stopping you from doing what you're doing. We have a death speak already ready, but we might as well have a look and see if there's anything else here that we want. And the uh, ghouls and skeleton haven't been able to follow us here. Always handy. This necromancer is a little bit out of the way, considering that we had to teleport to get here. But I imagine this is all part of the uh, tests to make sure that uh, we're suitable for being an apprentice. Let's just have a conversation with you. Hello! You are coming closer to your goal. Live one. I have worked hard to do so, Necromancer. Do not think that the rest of your path will be an easy one, Apprentice. There is something about you that I do not trust. I doubt your devotion to the Mountain King. I am devoted, Necromancer. Silence! I did not ask to hear your hollow voice. I was told to give my spell unto you, and I will do so. But know that Ithnithos consults me. I will tell him that I do not trust you. I understand, Necromancer. I do not care that you understand meat. Listen to me, then be gone. Often you will be assailed by enemies. Carry with you Executioner's Hood and Blackmore. 
Blend the reagents and focus your magic on the ground. Say the words in vast corp and grant eternal peace upon your enemy. Thank you, Necromancer. Go now, and pray to the Mountain King that you are worthy. Somebody does not trust that we are devoted to the Mountain King. That Necromancer is right to think that, because we're only doing this to, uh... Ah, oh, hello! It's a changeling! We've encountered many of this foe before. You are no threat to us, and your, uh, loot is currently hidden behind that pillar. We are not, in fact, uh doing this to become a necromancer and study the necromantic arts for the rest of our life. We are merely doing this so that we can master the uh, magics of this titan, and then I imagine we're going to move on and uh, go and study other magics. That is, if we can. We need to do some exploring around. We also need to be very careful, because I imagine that uh, we're going to encounter more enemies nearby. There's a lot of grass here. Finding grass is, uh, reassuring. Maybe we can see some light over here. Ooh, there's some wood there. The remains of a bench. We, uh, don't want to grab any of that. That's unlikely to work for any of our, uh, spell casting. There is an area that I'm really wary to go into. There is a chest, and that- ooh, it has a lot of reagents in it. Never mind, let's grab all of this stuff! Why not, eh? We'll grab everything that's here. All reagents, always a good thing. Let's uh, have a look at our inventory. It's a bit of a mess right now. We'll sort it out once we're actually uh, out of here. More reagents, always a good thing to find. We'll grab that, and we will grab that. There we go. We also want to have another look around, just in case... Ooh, there's a grave here. R.I.P. Unknown. We'll never find out who you were, all that we know is that you are dead. Anything over here? The answer is, it would seem not, it's just a small area where we can get more reagents. Getting more reagents, always a good thing. That one changeling really wasn't a significant threat though. If the game went haha, but how will he deal with one solitary changeling? The answer is, quite easily actually, we're really good at dealing with changelings. We've killed groups of three or four of them at once. One of them isn't going to be a problem. I think we're going to have to go into that room, the uh, room where we just got the reagents from. It seems to be the only way that we can progress, so we will save, and we will head in that direction. Hopefully nothing terrible will happen when we go in there. There is a uh, clock there. Maybe it's kept time all this time. I imagine it's a little bit out now, though. Onwards we go! into here. And we teleport! Always handy to teleport. We want to, uh, head south, I think. We will go- ooh, there's a stream here. We want to jump this, that's for sure. There might be something awesome over here. Careful. Can we move forward? There is one enemy there. I'd rather not get killed by you. Are you going to walk into the water? Or can you somehow get over here? You can get over here somehow! You have revealed to me that it is possible to get over here. Bad news for you! I'm over here, you know! I'm literally over here! Fair enough, I will come to face you! Have at thee! There we go! Now you are gone! We could just walk over, but I feel it might be a little bit safer to jump. Knowing my luck, I'd probably walk in entirely the wrong place and die. Let's just uh, jump here. Excellent. We are over and here. What is here? Doesn't seem like anything. Ooh, that looks magical. That looks like magical armor. We're going to grab that. Ooh, careful. Gotta be very careful here. What is that? That is magic armor, and we can't get it from here. We can if we stand on here, however. And just uh, walk around very carefully. Can we move this? Can we move the candlestick? We can. Don't mind me, I just want this, uh, magic piece of armor. What kind of armor is it? Is it actually just a piece of armor? One way to check, and that is to, uh, take off our armor and have a look. That is, uh, not the piece of armor I actually wanted to remove. Let's try put this on. It's definitely a magic piece of armor. Now we are wearing this, and it doesn't look too bad at all. 
It's most certainly increased our armor from uh, 14 to 18. Very handy. What's in here? More reagents, of course. Let's, uh, just grab the... We could just grab the pouch, actually. Let's just grab the pouch and, uh, put it in our, uh, in our backpack. And, uh, we need to be very careful that we don't fall there. Maybe we could use this pouch to, uh, organize everything. Is this the pouch? This is the pouch. Why don't we put that there? And then we just start putting loads of stuff in this pouch. There we go. We'll have our inventory sorted in no time at all. We have multiple pouches of reagents, which is always a good thing. We'll just uh, combine that there, combine that there, and we'll combine this there. Eventually, everything will be all sorted once again. There are lots of piles of bone just sort of here. It's all just a bit of a mess, but that's okay, because the Avatar will do some much-needed inventory management and everything will be okay once more. There we go, we'll just add all of those up. We have tons of reagents, and I was worried that we wouldn't have enough. Uh, the truth is, we actually have uh, way too many. Did I actually put this on? I don't think I did. Can we put this on? It seems like we might not- Oh, that is actually, uh, maybe that's actually the armor that we were wearing. I will, uh, check that in a moment. We also have this, uh, dead man's elbow here that, uh, we definitely want to put in here. All eight pieces of it. And then we'll put this in our backpack. Much better. So what we want to do is we want to, uh, have a look here and see oh. if, uh, yeah, I think that is actually the armor that we were wearing. We definitely were wearing that. We'll just, uh, double check here. If we, uh, take this off, that is magic armor. And that is, yep, that's just the armor that we were wearing. We don't want that. The important thing about this magic armor is that it is uh, a lot lighter and just a lot better. Brilliant! We have our first piece of magical armor. And it's always a good thing to start collecting it. And so onwards we go. This way, up here, ignoring that because we don't need that anymore. I imagine falling down there would have been instantaneous death. I don't trust the game enough to, uh, not instantly kill me when we, uh, have something like that happen. Jump over there! Excellent! We will carry on this way now, and see if we can find another necromancer. Or two! Or five! I don't know how many we need to find. Let's, uh, be very ca Ooh! We need to, uh, go over here for sure. Something definitely tried to blow us up there, though. Just, uh, jump over here. And are we going to have to go that way? That is definitely aiming for us. Let's just uh, go back over here and hide away, shall we? That was not that good. Mainly that uh, we took some damage there. We really don't want to take any damage. We want to uh, rest for one period of time and then head back this way. Maybe we just need to uh, stay on uh, this side of the uh, body of uh, water. Just uh, go over here carefully, very carefully, and jump! Excellent. Why don't we just keep heading this way? Maybe there's something this way. The answer is, there is something this way. There's not that much, but there is something. Let's carefully go in this direction, and this way. Progress, Avatar! We have found it! It is over here, and there are lots of explosions! Okay, anything there? It would seem not, although somebody did, uh, get exploded. That's not a good fate. There is an axe here. We don't want that. We just want to keep going. A little faster than this avatar. That's- ooh. Lava. That's not so good to see. How are we going to get past all of this? We could go this way. Seems like a not bad way to go. Ooh, there's a key here. I get the feeling we might want that key. Let's just add that to our key. Ooh, careful. Careful. Let's just put this in our inventory and then go and uh, leave here. Because we're a little too close to the lava right now. Lava is a bad place to stop and go, hmm, do I have everything that I need? And then we exploded. Do not explode, and do not fall into the lava, and then die. Just need to uh, add this to our keyring. There we go, it has now been added to our keyring. We could rest here, even though there are lots of explosions happening. Is there anything there? No, there is nothing there. 
Can we rest here? Yes, there may be explosions happening, but that's fine, the Avatar can sleep through that. And when we come back, folks, we will try and navigate that lava. Not by swimming, but by jumping over it, because if there's one thing that we know, it's that lava has no problems with heat rising up or anything like that. You could just jump over it perfectly safely. You may not be able to jump over it perfectly safely. So I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later.